Hello guys, in this lesson, we want to work on the not found functionality. So if you search for something that is not available on the website, for example, a random text like QQQ, you shouldn't see an empty screen, you should see this message. We need to add it in all three pages that we have. So watch this video to the end if you like to know how. Okay, here is the roadmap for this lesson. Let us start by creating the not found component. From the view menu, select terminal, then write ngGC to generate the component inside components folder, partials folder with the name of not dash found. Okay, our component is generated. First of all, for seeing a result, I want to add it to the cart page. Close the terminal from the explorer, Inside components, pages, cart page, select cart page component HTML file. Then after the app title, put app dash not found. Let's see it inside the browser. As you can see, after the title, we have not found works. Now we can go to its TypeScript file to add all the inputs that it needs from the explorer, from the partials folder, not found, select not found component TS file. We need four inputs here. The first one is visible and it is false by default. This input could be ignored because by default we have ngf inside the HTML file to set the visibility dynamically, but I like the visible input more because it makes more sense. Okay, the second input is not found message the message of not found component and its default is nothing found the third input is reset link text that its default value is reset and the last one is where the link should go so reset link route that is equal to slash that represents the home page inside the route okay our ts file is ready let's go into the html file from here click on not found component html file then clear everything we need to add a div and add an ng if here with the value of visible inside it we want to show not found message as a text and we need an a tag with a router link that goes to the reset link route with the text of Reset link text. Okay, our HTML file is finished. Let's see what we have inside the browser. As you can see, the not found component is invisible because the visible input is false by default. So it's time to fill the not found components inputs inside the cart page. Go to the cart page components HTML file. Then after the app not found, press enter and let us start with the visible input. It should be visible when the cart is null or undefined or the length of the cart is not bigger than zero. For the not found message, we could say cart page is empty. And for the reset link text, we could say go to home page. And we don't need to put the reset link route here because we want it go to the home page and it goes to the home page by default. Let's see the results inside the browser. Now, if you remove all items from the cart, we could see that we have cart pages empty and go to home page here. And if we click on go to home page, we will be redirected to the home page. Now it's time to work on its CSS and make it beautiful. From the explorer, select not found component CSS file. Then I start with the div tag that is the parent. Set its display to flex and its align items to center, justify content center, and flex direction to column. Its font size should be 1.5 rem and its font weight should be 100 and height should be 15 rem. For the A tag inside it, the font size could be 1.1 rem and background color could be hashtag E72929. Its text color should be white and its border radius should be 10 rem. Padding 0.7 rem from top and bottom and 1 rem from left and right. Its margin 
could be 1 RAM and its opacity could be 0 0.8. And for its hover effect, opacity could be 1, the cursor could be pointer. Let's see it inside the browser. As you can see, we have a beautiful not found message with a link that goes wherever we want when the page is empty. But I think you noticed the problem why we are seeing this part. We need to go to the cart page and put an opposite condition for showing this part. So when the items are available, this part should be shown. Otherwise, they shouldn't be shown. So let's go to the cart page cart page component html file then after the dev put an ngf equal to when the cart is available and when the cart.items.length is bigger than zero now we can see the result very nice so if we click here and come back to the cart page you could see that we have this message if we add something to the cart the message will go away other than cart page we need to add the not found component in two other places. The first one is inside the home page. If we search for something that is not present inside the website, for example, ZZZ, we need to see the not found component here. So let's go to the home components HTML file. We can close all of these opened items and from the explorer, home folder, home component html file after the app tags before the ul we could add app dash not found with the visible value of when the foods property is undefined or foods dot length is not greater than zero and for the reset link text it should be reset search the rest could have the default values close the component and let's see the browser as you can see, we have this nothing found. And if we click here, we will be redirected to the home page. The last page that we need to add the not found component in it is the food page. Normally, we don't need it because you normally click on a link, then go to the food page. But assume you bookmark the food and it is removed from the website. For example, we have a food with the ID of 22 that is not currently available on the website. You shouldn't see this page. You should see not found. So let's add it here. Let's open up the food page components HTML file. Close the home component HTML. Then from the explorer, open the food page folder. Then click on food page components HTML file. At the top of this file, before the container, add app not found. For its visible input, we could say when the food is not available because inside the food page, we don't have a list. We have only one food. So this is enough. For its not found message, we could say food not found. And for its reset link text, we can write back to home page. Close the components tag, save the file. We need to put the opposite of this condition on this container class. We need to say ngf, the food is available, show the food. Let's see the browser. As you can see, we still could be able this page. It is because the food will not be undefined in any way because we create a new instance of the food when it is undefined. So we can put the condition on its ID. So we can say if the food.id is undefined, show the not found message and food.id is valid, or it is not zero or undefined, show the food. Let's see the browser. As you can see, now that the ID is not valid, we could be able to see food not found. And if we click here and select another food, we could be able to see the food. So it works flawlessly. Okay, this was for this lesson. On the next lesson, we want to start setting up the backend of the project. You've been watching Code with Nasir, and I hope to see you next time.